special day isn't it today we have a full circle moment coming right together mm -hmm. we have seven balma in the building seven seven <laughs> hello how are hey. you hey oh wow i'm amazing like i'm i'm so excited about this show this evening and oh, yes. wow just really connecting with everyone <laughs> yeah this is an amazing amazing time for the podcast guys we're re right now yeah we've already told him we told him before the show right but right now let them know let them know this guy is the one like maybe how many years ago like four years four, ago four, yeah came across one of his videos yeah and he really broke down a lot of things that we were feeling inside mm -hmm. And just after one video, I watched maybe all of them. I don't know. And continue Still watching, watching them. Still to this day. Over a decade in how, like, it's, it's crazy. Ugh, it's you got to say that. I can't. It's just an <laughs> honor. I know. I, she can't even let the words out. But you literally awoken our aw awakeness. Yeah. And, um, wow. and to have you on today is just such an honor. And thank you so much for, you know, coming in and, um, you know, just vibing with us and just getting us to really have an awakening moment. Um, and I'm just going to let you go and, ex you know, let us know for people who some of our um, listeners may not know who you are. Um, and I would love to hear how you can define yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to hear that, too. <laughs> These days, you know, I'm like, OK, because you're doing a lot. You're I first want to say, much. you know, man, I give thanks for reaching out to me and, and letting me know that, you know, the space was open for me to be able to come here and share the message. It's, you know, greatly appreciated. And I so vibe with the energy and, and what you're working on together. And, and I think that it's something that it's just going to shine anyway, because yeah, you're all yeah. shining. So I recognize, <laughs> you know, that and that's exactly why I'm here. You know, I also want to give thanks to the ancestors for lining this up because yes. it's also full moon. As you know, you actually emailed me and we pinged some stuff back and forward. And then my email box went crazy and I just had it in my mind. I said, I received their email back. I saw it in there, but I don't know where it is. And wow. so a lot of stuff going on. And then I finally I found it because I made those <laughs> intentions happen. And then yeah. I sent you the, the times and it just so happens to hit on this day. Wow. And so I just see it all as perfectly lined up. So I trust that we're going to be able to come in here and, you know, really raise the roof, shake this thing up <laughs> and, and right. give that necessary boost to our tribe and our and our family right. worldwide right. Uh, that we that they need. And we can do that here. So <laughs> thank we you. give thanks. Thank you. Thank nice. you. Oh, my introduction. Okay, oh, so yeah, yeah oh, I, wow. I guess it's good to see me as a time traveler. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I've been, you know, deep in the past and, and ancient knowledge, and I've also been to the future where it's all ether. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here in the present to do as much as I can. I also have really done my best to leave, you know, a, a written instruction and a video instruction to just how to keep vibing high with your consciousness and really get beyond what you'll see, you know, in the denser fields, which is where we, you know, where we grow the most. I've never met anybody who had really something to say and that was really about something that didn't go through mm, something. Right, so right. this is that process in our existence where we really see that we're made out of mm, or what yeah. we're made out of. And, you know, we can do that here now and we can also do that together. So that's what also makes it you know, it's a, it becomes an adventure versus, you know, just the stress and the turmoil, uh, even though our lessons come from that, too. So, yeah, yeah that, that's right. where I'm at. I'm also an inventor. I'm an author. I wrote the code of the Matrix. Uh, I have a few devices that, that I've in invented, Hydrolux, hydrogen generators, um, also a mm -hmm. Phi Aqua, which is a frequency generator. I work with technology. Some people can call me a technology guru. Oh, uh, wow. We've developed uh, the world's first conscious social network functionable, you know, 3.0, 4.0 stuff, just keeping up with, 
you know, the biggest titans in the industry and also, you know, waiting, waiting for things. Um, well, not waiting anymore because mm. things are shifting. Oh, yeah. So okay. basically <laughs> we developed something that was to meet this situation we're dealing with right now because we were already aware that this situation is was going to take place. Right. And so if you look at any of the annuals um, and the big deposits of past recordings on getting yourself together, you'll see that we talked about by 2020, you really need to be on your sovereign thing right. uh, because it was going to do that to us all anyway. And that's what the stars say, not you know, you know, your basic government or whoever you think is the dictator or the controller in this mess. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let them know. Let Already them know. coming in with the <laughs> intro. Hitting them hard. That's oh, what's wow. up. This is amazing. So oh, definitely, wow. I know in the email process when we was reading it back to yeah. each other, she was letting <laughs> me know what was going down. And yeah. you were like, hey, keep it relevant. Mm -hmm. And we were like, you just showed me that video yeah. of Dr. Emmanuel. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is, send him that. That's yeah. what we just saw. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was like, f that conversation we had that day went on for days. Right. And it was just like, there, and c because we did a poll and a lot of, we were, what was the poll? You okay, so we did a poll um, on... Uh, Dr. Emanuel's speech, and we asked, who, would you hear what she has to say? Like, you know, try it out, not try it out, but see if that's something that can work because FDA already approved this. So, I mean, we weren't seeing if it more so if people believed what she was saying. It was like everybody thought it was false. So, the majority of them said no. And I instantly thought, I was like, instead of trying to find a, a way a out, a solution. You rather wait for mainstream media to give you the solution. And right. that was like a weird awakening, too, because I was like, people don't want to get better. People don't want this but to change. But even if to us, even if it's not 100 percent truth, um, the fact of it is, is like it's it was immediately taken down because yeah. of a fact checker. And it's more of opening our eyes to different things, not because of listening to the government and letting us know like, oh, we need to wear a mask, we need to be shut down, we need to do all this, and not having other like facts or other things that can possibly work or any of those sorts. We just wanted to know what your thoughts on. I don't want to be rambling and <laughs> saying so much. <laughs> okay, so y'all go yeah, tag me yeah. in. So this is like in the part in the wrestling yeah. match where that person outside is already super mm -hmm, crunk. Mm -hmm. I kind of listened to GIF about this today. They tagged uh -huh. me. Tag. <laughs> tag. Here you go. Running around go. the rings and then jumps from the top ropes on that yeah. thing. Yeah. This is what I'm about to do <laughs> up right. in the ring right now. Let so, I mean, it's just like you're saying. Well, first and foremost, you know, for those that have no clue what we're talking about, because there are some, some you know, people on the line that, you know, they've been doing all sorts of stuff. So just to bring some context yeah. around it, there was a video that was posted uh, where a sister, Dr. Emmanuel, was going in about a solution for the situation that everybody's dealing with on the bacteria yeah. level. I have to actually, okay. you know, use oh, those terms <laughs> uh, just to, you know, get my recorders oh, out these days. But Clever, um, yeah. I think a great poll would have been, do you think she, you know, when you're listening to someone tell the mm -hmm. truth, it sounds like something. Yeah. And so I believe that that also is a big context here. Can we still hear the truth? Mm. Or do we think that even if uh, what they call reverse SEO mm. comes behind that and tries to do the damage control, are we easily like persuaded back into the other direction? Like, oh, okay, we can go back to sleep now. This is this is uh, definitely not something. <laughs> nothing, nothing going on right. here, kids. Just right. go to sleep, right. basically. And, and that's just like a, a check to the reality. And you know, what we've been talking about for a while, but just to kind of dive into this is to realize that the, mo the most valuable aspect of what's going on right now is the real estate in your consciousness, mm. like what you're actually doing with your mind, because we're not just creating physical things with our attention and with the energy that we're putting into it from our consciousness. We're also, you know, we're creating ethereal things. We're creating the future, right. really. And so to be able to have billions of human beings utilizing their their brains, which is like a processor, it's even more advanced than a computer processor, using their brains to uh, script a certain or run a certain program or code or software into the reality, then, you know, this is like everything that I would say in their great work that they've worked for, especially with the entry of Hollywood and just being able to utilize the TV to begin to dictate what 
reality really oh. is. And this was all a plan anyway to get things to a point where reality would be like TV and news would, and reality shows even would be like news. Right. And then one would kind of immerse into the, into the, the guidelines and the, and the doctrines and kind of start living that way and, and never get out really. Because if you notice, like even since, you know, the fifties, forties, you name it, they've even continuously played, let's say the race card and the things that are going on right, right. now. But what it still serves to do is like still listening to a song where the person is still singing about the same thing. And here we are 70 years later and the story is still the oh same. My God. <laughs> your story is not going to change if that's your reality. Right. So if you're totally immersed in something like this and that's what it's really designed to be, it's designed to be immersible. And we we talked about that. We call they call it broadcasting, <laughs> you know, and then there's the casting of spells. So there's there's something very magical. And I've talked about this about film. And, and lights and, and, right. and cathode ray tubes and smoke and phantasmagoria and sound and, and the lighting and all this kind of stuff because, you know, this is really like the ultimate in our storytelling, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. you know, our storytelling fu uh, functions. Okay. And so when we start watching the story and then let that become our story versus writing the story, oh, yeah. this then you would be begin to fit the only the political agenda of the, of, of the king exactly. in, in most cases. Things have, have not changed. But there's something important that we have to know, and that's also, see, people think they're looking at the mm. end. <laughs> and I'm not. here to tell you that the we're beginning. actually at the okay. beginning. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's also because even 400 years ago, Doc, like you even mm. reading, right. I may get God. <laughs> you right. even having some knowledge is like you go into like archive.org and downloading all the books and not only being able to read these because reading is one thing comprehension is kind of right. another you know you're comprehending what's going on you're able to kind of paint this world in your mind about what things really exist like and then you're able to formulate and come to new conclusions this is all very foreign uh -huh. so right. for sure i would like to see us you know realizing honestly one of the bigger problems is is not that we don't have something like this oh we don't have rights we don't have freedom is that maybe we have a little too much okay. because my great great grandma, she walked 30 miles, 40 miles to school <laughs> and her having this window, even some of my friends over in Romania, them having this window of opportunity of, of Internet yeah, right. and some kind of money, they would max out on on the whole experience yeah. just for being given the opportunity. Right. So. We see the Uniteds because we know the what the creation of the Uniteds was about. So you got United States, United Arab Emirates, and United oh, Kingdom. The Uniteds down. were designed <laughs> to basically be the catch-alls for anyone who had kind of lost from, let's say, three to four generations. They had been cut mm -hmm. off due to some kind of raping, pillaging, despoiling on the land, et cetera, because... There's only one way that a king or a ruler or anybody can expand their land, and that's by yeah. taking over somebody else's right. land. But how can you take over somebody else's land and just not, you, you're not going to kill everybody and leave it desolate in well, some places, <laughs> especially when it's too much buck. But it's, what is the system that you go into other people's mm -hmm. land, take over, and then within at least one generation, have them now working for right, you right. without even bucking and even considering that the land that you're on, is, it, it uh, belongs to you and not them, these taxes that you're paying and all this, this society that has been bought in front of you is not something that you should necessarily be enjoying. It's something that you should be really getting ready to remove so you can restore where you were originally at. <laughs> How do you create a system? Because they've done it. Right. So I start looking at what are the key fundamentals to actually creating uh, taking a person from someone who has pride in their land and their in their space and their existence to someone who is now perpetuating the same system that is bringing about the demise. Right. And this becomes even like simple because even I'm talking about on a high level, like even investing in stocks, like everybody's like, buy Apple, buy Apple, buy Apple. Now you, right. You're only enriching right. Apple. You're giving them the money. Now I know that's that's why. That, that's uh, uh, what they would say is white collar. <laughs> and now you're supposed to be intelligent. Well, I know people who are investing still, into the vaccine. It's still the same concept that's happening here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that this is why the key fundamentals, once again, here are really about self. Mm -hmm. And if I had it down today, like if over 60% of, of you, 
your time, your energy, your current is not being invested in you. If over 60, if, if it's not being invested in you and it's, it's being invested somewhere else, you got to check that. You got to do the books. Right. And this is just in looking at your life. It's a simple analysis and say, okay, first of all, eight, eight, eight hours go to the job. That's not even about me. <laughs> so that's already a certain percentage. And then starting to do the math. Some don't have jobs, but just doing the math about even the mm, kids, thank even you, the husband, know. even the wife, everything else that is taking time, energy, and essence, just kind of calculating and seeing how much you're getting out of all of that. Because if people are depending on you, these books are going to have to be balanced real good. And the, and the interesting thing is, is that we're actually in an infinite creation. So right. what this really means is, is that if you don't get it right now, things don't just get right and they just <laughs> right. don't stop. Here's the interesting thing. The symbol of the divine feminine has always been a scorpion. Mm. Because the, the constellation of Scorpion actually is right in there, the Taurus and everything. And but the 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 point of where the womb is is a scorpion. And I was like, how is that? So we really talk about a scorpion queen and not king. What does this symbol mean? And it means that the ultimate form of power and protection and a weapon of might is that you can't be destroyed. Okay. You just keep coming back over and right. over and over. And that's scorpion. Mm -hmm sting too. That's like your protection. Your protection is you're immortal. You could keep coming in and out of the womb and you'll be back. But the, the, oh. the thing is though, what condition are mm. you in? <laughs> what condition are you in when you, what portal do you arrive oh. out of next? Like I heard y'all speak of moms giving thanks to moms. Nice. Oh yeah, mommy. Are you <laughs> in here? The reality <laughs> here is, is that, you know, it's still great that we know at least enough about how to guide ourselves into the right womb mm. and come out this thing and, and get the right kind of fertilization necessary to really make it through the right. cosmos. So, but that's not everybody's story. Not. So what we're doing, because this is a tribe, this is, is we we'll arrive, like I say, like a tow truck on the astral plane and be like, yo, <laughs> you, you need a hookup and yes, really try to get you back running again, but it's your choice. So, yeah. you know, that's what I got to say about, okay. you know, WWF and what's going on. With <laughs> yeah. the WWF. Okay. <laughs> You got wow. the right words. Sir. I know. <laughs> oh my god. You know the right things to say. Exactly. But even just when you were talking about Hollywood, we're yeah. in LA. Yeah. We're in the middle of it. And I swear once I got here, I seen the smoke and mirrors oh and it gosh. was like, Oh, I get it. And I started mm -hmm. working on movie sets and stuff like and then you break down a movie. Right. You don't you see the whole creation of it. So right. then you see even the news, like you uh -huh. see car chases. I remember when I seen that and I was like, wait, this is not real. Even the police Everything came when clear. they're causing traffic. We figured it all out. <laughs> like in LA, the traffic is crazy, right? You've it's heard fake. of that. It's it's fake. It's caused by the police. It's like they they're slow making down the they're freeway. slowing down the freeway. Let's back it on up and create this chaos. So there's and always it's always this I under believe. this under yeah so when i see things yeah. it's always gonna be fake news right. <laughs> it's like oh Everything. guys don't believe it but people yeah. fall into it They're and so, so you even addicted. breaking it down like that is like did you guys catch it right because <laughs> i caught everything yeah so like um the way that the thing about it is it's like we're we're caused to be brainwashed so early in the game you know from birth so it's like yeah. really hard for us to like take things into consideration because there's a part of us that says okay uh i'm anti-mask or yeah. i'm anti like because to me and i hate to talk about it but this is the life we live and we're living in this reality we live in the u.s we're going through it we actually live in california where they started to um close everything down immediately they were the first state to start that and uh, if this is happening they brought the ships in right this is like for real yeah, they brought the ships in next because where house. we live is the ocean so yeah. it's we see the ships that's coming in and they brought in the medical ships yeah and they try to make a scene like this is what we're gonna need like right. as if dead bodies were piling out mm -hmm. in the middle they're, of the street the, the, the count is dead it's and crazy I'm like I drive past this every single day it's never been used it's just right. here for photo ops right. are you guys kidding me yeah. yes yeah, they might as well have got the music in the background yeah, too. Because like, yeah. it's hella suspense. Yeah. Like, I mean, and <laughs> the adrenals for most people have to be like done by now. Like, especially with all the weed and yeah. all of that. So I, I here's what it is. <laughs> okay. It's true. We have to really 
take the mind, body, and soul. Because, you know, this is like a, a, like a camp. Yeah. Yeah. Like if this yeah. is not able to take you to your next destination, then you have to go in for a pit stop. Mm. And we always talk about like, you know, you don't do your car like this. You don't keep driving your car with no gas. Right. You don't keep, you know, driving the car. You ain't changed the oil. You know, you're not taking this thing in for service. You don't even do the car like right. that. So why do your mind, body, and soul like that? Okay. Right. And, and who has a manual for that? Like, where is the actual manual for the repairing of the mind, body, and That's soul? Because also, <laughs> some folks, you know, it may be more the soul. It may, yeah. somebody else, it may be more the body. Mm -hmm. And so these are the things that we were looking at. Like, we spent a decade on this, like, really looking <laughs> yeah. at, like, okay, well, how do we jump the body back off? Like, what's really happening? I want to explain mm -hmm. also because I know some folks are just motivated by, by currency, money. Right. And the that's reality true. is, that's though, is that abundance you. is not just money. Like, abundance comes in so many ways. And in, most importantly, abundance is the same thing as the fruit on a tree. So for us, our abundance is our children. Okay. And if we actually see what's happening with the children and how much time is really being spent, we can get an idea with them. We can get an idea of how much or how well our investments are going. Right. Let's just put it like right. that, right? And, and who is handling our investments. Yeah. <laughs> so the reality also is, is that if we come in and we say, okay, well, we're going to have to make some, some transformations mm -hmm. here. By what, by what means will you be coming into this transformation? Mm -hmm. Like, give it to me step by step. And of course, because this is, this is a very complex thing, this, <laughs> this being that we're in. I call it the high maintenance human. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, even if you, if you have also other people to worry about, this thing is so high maintenance, this is going to be the first thing not to get any attention. Mm -hmm. And so the reality is, is that, yes, we have this amazing gift called the body, but you can see how people are treating it because they can't get it to do it, do what they want it to do in most cases. Right. But there is a way. There's a way to actually activate the mind, the body, and the soul. And when you're coming out of a program situation, also you need to actually sit down with somebody that knows how to deprogram. Right. That's the, the big thing that comes next. And what happened for me was is that I didn't really see all of that knowledge in one place. Okay. Right. Like I did see certain masters had one key. Certain system had one key, right. but you can easily get lost in any of these and devote your life to that and still not find the truth. Right. You had to be able to pull back the diaspora of knowledge and put all the stuff back together. So even if you has even some kind of any kind of schisms, any kind of uh, dissensions in yourself, any kind of conflicts, it was going to actually re uh, uh, replicate itself into the next experience that you needed to go through that you weren't going to be able to get over the hurdle of because you still had something that you were saying that you were not. Mm. And as for a, a people that know that they're everything, this is somewhat heresy anyway because you would have to accept that all of these, everything that we see is a reflection of us and only to you explore yourself truly will you realize that. And also, only mm. when you're willing to judge thyself. Mm. Right. Forget what everybody else is right. saying. The beginning of the highest right. knowledge is still the acceptance of whatever it is the issue or the problem right. is in the realm. So in the realm, the highest knowledge, as I've, as I've mentioned, is encrypted in even what we call today as Alcohol Anonymous. Mm. Alcohol Anonymous, or right. AA, is a cognate or the symbolism of the Illuminati. Mm. What does the knowledge teach? how to break habits. Right. Why is it so important to know how to break habits? Mm. Yeah. Well, if you look at the whole world, the whole world is an input or, or uh, uh, something, an uh, output, a yoni, if you may, waiting for your input. Mm -hmm. So every time you go outside of yourself doing anything, the rest of whatever you're doing it with is just waiting for that input. So you can get addicted to actually giving external input. Right. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then... All of this is like a meter. When you look at this meter, and that's why I mentioned this in the conversation, you'll hear it a few times. It's just something you can stick with even if stuff gets a little too complex. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at this meter and you're starting to run low on personal time, person, like you got, like if somebody ever take three hours with yourself, mm -hmm. like actually clean the bottom of your feet, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> actually, you know, wipe off your skin. You know, there's these different techniques and things. Actually, you know, women, women do, do this it. more yeah, for sure than time. men. Like, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Like I take care but of again, you take the time. not everyone knowing how to actually go in that process and say, okay, today I'm going to work on my, my soul. Yeah, right. it's true. Today I'm going to also work on my mind. I'm, I'm, today I'm going to work on my body. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing. And because that would be like a regimen, right? right? And so what we've done is we've been able to put that in place. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. I welcome anyone. It's free. <laughs> I welcome anyone to come in and get yourself together. Right. And so I won't kind of drill in on that, but just so I'm not introducing any kind of problems without solutions, which I'm always okay. on point okay. about because the solutions existed the before the problem <laughs> did, and that's just how it works. Right. So it's always good to let everybody know, look, just like you were saying earlier, yeah, some people like to get the bad news and the suspense because they think they're watching TV, except for it's their own life. Right, right. And they've been gradually pushed into this. First, it was Anita Baker. Then it was Mary J. Blige. Mm -hmm. Now it's Cardi B. Right. Right. Okay, it's a slippery slope, mm -hmm. but it happens. So people have gradually been coerced out of their shell because you got to remember the body is also set up where it's contained. It's a, it's a contained unit. Mm -hmm. It has defenses. You don't right. think the body has defenses. It fights off stuff all the time. So how do you get a being to take down its defenses so you can enter into its courtyard and its holiest of holies and take down its ruler? Right. And that's really what we're dealing with in the, in the dimension right now is we have beings, groups. You know, there's all types of different people who want to do it and different kind of beings want to do it for different reasons. But it's all the same thing. And it's trying to possess Someone else right. trying to take more soul force, more share of something and, and control that. And, you know, it's like if I'm in something like this, I can't let myself really be taken by the wind and, and guided off into somebody else's projection, especially if that's not harmonic where I, with where I want to go. Right. right. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Every time. But then mm -hmm. it also then goes into what I feel is, you know, all this is gonna probably end well this portion of the pandemic gonna end once the election is up in november and we get through that and we already know who the president is and then we'll be on to something new and people are gonna forget about this the same way they forgot about ebola the same way they forgot about just everything i think <laughs> they forgot about everything I, well, that we went through and then we go well, through the I, next I one differ you don't think so Earth is not going to be the same again. Oh, no, no, said, not I that part. <laughs> but I'm saying no. this pandemic itself, this whatever way we but, could say it without. Yeah. Getting... But I think. Well, the, I, sorry, Savon. I, um, but I think the, uh, what the moral <laughs> of the story of what how Savon was saying it is that, you know, all of this stuff, pandemic, all of this, yeah. you have to go within self. You got to go within yourself and have that moment to like you said take care of yourself and start from the beginning by cleaning yourself stop looking outside of the box and look within because that is mm -hmm. what carries you yeah. it's not about what's going on in the world yes all of this is going to pass it's going to go where it needs to yeah people are getting sick but it's not it's because like you said in the beginning it's uh what did you say? Um, bacteria. bacteria. <laughs> exactly. Excuse me. I apologize. But, um, you know, this is about once you go within yourself and keeping yourself healthy, this can get you, um, you know, further yeah. throughout your journey. But I apologize for yeah. interrupting. Exactly. For sure. We should have put that in there yeah. because that's anyway, the yeah. ultimate defense against any virus or pathogen is you just keeping a really strong immune system. Right. Now, if anybody is aware, it's not this virus completely that is the biggest problem. Right. Mm. It's not. No. It's the damage that was done to the economy. Right. right. Exactly. And you can run simulators mm. that will show you what things are going to look like based on mm. what was actually done. Mm. So there's a transition mm. coming here, and that has to do with the digital dollar. Right. Mm. It has to do with cryptocurrency and why that was the best use case. Okay for uh, those who want money scalable. You gotta understand, this is not just about upsetting your day. Right. Like this is about scalability. The mm -hmm. same thing that you're talking about with corporations. Right. When you have eight, almost nine billion people mm. all using anything, you gotta consider how is that scalable if it's all run by the same corporation. Right. So finances cease to become scalable when we reached a certain amount of you know, a certain amount of, of, of human beings on the planet. Mm -hmm. And so for them to even grow mm -hmm. into where, where they want to go with the current. See, people don't realize that every time you, you put this current out there, this money, even though it's fiat currency, it gives energy and stimulus. Right. Okay. Right. This is what they call a stimulus. It They'll is. hit you with a stim pack. Yeah. <laughs> right. and, and, 
and now you're just like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. And then the whole world or all United States is like a wave. Like everybody now got, even people who weren't getting that much money in the first place, now oh they have God. some money. Yes. It, and then all of that money then will go into the, yeah. it goes through, it's like veins. Mm-hmm. It goes mm-hmm. through all the system and it, it artificially almost stimulates everything because of course, you know, how did you work for it right. and all those mm-hmm. other dynamics that you invested. So the reality is, is that that still check. is like sugar. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the result, again, it will be the same game that's being played on a consistent basis because the knowledge, just so you understand the setup, even when you're controlling a a nation, a kingdom, what happens is, is that if you're still going to keep everybody dumb, then they can't invent, they can't invent big things. We got Sumerian texts say the king was like interested in building rockets. So the reality is, is that a person that feels downtrodden, hurt, their land is stolen, their lineage is cut off, all that is not going to be in the condition to build no right. rocket or learn anything or actually put time and emphasis and energy in something. So that's why the United started, because it's a project that has to run for at least two to three generations. Wow. And in this process, you let your guards down completely. You actually become compartmentalized, indoctrinated inside the system in order to learn certain things comprehension, reading, mathematics, the fine arts, but still never letting it click like the alchemical knowledge where all of this actually is is based on real specifics, frequencies, vibrations, uh, tones, Uh colors, geometry, et cetera. Not going that far, but enough to be able to compartmentalize you in a situation where you're intelligent. You could build a hedron collider. Mm -hmm. We may get 100,000, 200,000 of you because we're going to have... We're never going to have anybody that knows how to work the entire collider. It's right. like building a car. Right. You don't have people that generally know how to whole build car. the whole yeah. car. They may work uh, 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 with the, the leather on the seat. <laughs> Somebody else may do the injection molding. Somebody else may do the metal, et cetera. But it's never every one person. Yeah, I know how to, I could put a whole car together. <laughs> so this kind of compartmentalization is very useful when you want when you have a highly technological endeavor that you want to pursue but you can't let the beings that are actually going to be the ones doing that, because obviously it's not going to be you, get into the awareness of what they can do with the knowledge that they actually have. So I have a sister. She's a friend. She's been to school for 14 years as a doctor. Mm. She can tell you when you pull one of them medicines off that cabinet with all them weird ingredients mm. on it. She could tell you each and every single one of those and what they do. And I asked her, Carissa, do you know what the pineal gland is? Hmm? Mm-hmm. What is that? Oh so this God. is what compartmentalization actually is. She's got yeah. deep knowledge. She figured out the pineal gland. She knows all the chemicals that turn oh, right. that thing on right. indefinitely. But yes. it wouldn't. It won't click for her because there is an altar and other things set up in there for her to not be able to access that part of her consciousness. Because just mm. as I was showing in the documents of the central intelligences, they <laughs> show specifically that they are aware that the left side of the brain tells the right side of the brain what to do. The right side of the brain can actually do anything, but the left side of the brain is the filter. So basically, if the left side of the brain say jump off a cliff, the right side of the brain just going to jump. So the left side of the brain Mm. is still that check and balance system like, yo, don't drink fire. Yo, don't pour bleach on your face. But right. they use that that side of the consciousness to also mm-hmm. tell the person, and you can't get out of the body, and you're not really God, and mm-hmm. all of this other, and you don't know your history. When when you, just on a standard hypnosis, just a standard hypnosis, you put the person under and tell them, now go back and look at when you were age four. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm there. I'm in the classroom. Why? Because the data is there. What you've done in hypnosis is you turn the left side off and you just are talking right to the right side and saying to the right side, look, go and get this in the right side to go get it. So you can imagine mm-hmm. how far they've gone. Hmm. And this is what I'm saying. Our ancestors are in the future. I'm, I'm trying to catch up right. and still keeping everybody else in tow. <laughs> Our ancestors are not in these dense vibratory frequencies in, in the state of how you visualize the ancestors. OK, mm-hmm. I want to make this clear okay, here now. This is why we also have other ancestors, okay? They are here and some of them are in the past. They're way more primordial. They are very low dense frequencies Mm. and they have a tendency to be a drag, Mm. literally, if you get too 
caught up in just that vibratory frequency. And this is just the whole spectrum. So when you come as a master of light, a lord of your own <laughs> life and the king of yourself, and you sit in the crown of your own consciousness and you invest the time and the energy in which the creators have given you, your parents, your mothers, your fathers, the divine androgynous, whatever, all of what they gave you, you invest that into yourself. Get yourself into alignment. That's why we call it inner stand. Get yourself together first. Don't be go, trying to go. You try to help somebody else. You're drowning. <laughs> All you're going to do is push them right. under. Get yourself together first. Stabilize. Mm -hmm. The symbolism of the great mother is an anchor. Stabilize your ship. And then once you get your foundation set, because that's where everybody's going to need to stand mm -hmm. on. Now you can start inviting some folks right. on board, but you better put them through right. customs. <laughs> okay. Let them know. <laughs> right. You know, like, because the energies are, it's the ener right. like, people are making their own choices yeah, right. right now. This is the result for sure of, again, the investment that we've made in the children and how much they are aware of all of this. Our ancestors were trying to keep an unbroken chain, but unfortunately, for at least three or four generations, we haven't had really rites of passage. Right. We haven't met fire, earth, wind, water, and what they really right. are, which is what the ancestors will put you through so you realize how much power you're made out of because you're made out of those mm -hmm. elements. So they would take you through a passage where today, son, uh, you're going to meet fire. Where? Oh, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you would need to figure out once again that you are at least fire. Mm -hmm. And then you will move forward from there. So, of course, if it's, I don't know, Pink Panther... Mm -hmm. And I love Lucy. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You know, ver I went yeah, back yeah. there, right? Versus, <laughs> you know, the, the tetragrammaton and the octahedron fields coming from the crystalline mm -hmm. network. It's going to be kind of a different future. Mm -hmm. But this is the okay, cool part. Mm -hmm. We have the opportunity because we have still been gifted with a level of intelligence mm -hmm. as long as we utilize it. It's called common okay. sense. I tell everybody that. We boot that thing <laughs> back up. Here, here's the suggestion. We boot that okay. thing back up. And we take a moment for ourselves. We go into the pit mm. stop. As I said, there's knowledge there for you. You can go specialist mm -hmm. training. You could go all the way and go sovereignty mm -hmm. mentorship. In that, though, you're going to learn the basic fundamentals. I've taken the stuff that is on it and just given it to you for free about understanding mm. your vibratory feel, how when people piss you off, what that does to your field. Mm -hmm. When you got like a significant other, how your shields are kind of dropped for them so they can kind of hurt you more than other people. Mm -hmm. How the nation is completely romanticized. So this wow. is about you trying to find something outside of you that's going to meet and complete you. And because of that whole romantic subset, you will more than likely be able to be easily manipulated through your emotional set, your emotional, your emotional faculties. And how mm -hmm. any great teaching, whether it was going to be a you're going to be a samurai or whether you were going to be a llama, all begin with the same thing how to control and master your emotions. Because mm -hmm. either way, the more current we pump inside of you, if you get a billion dollars tonight, mm -hmm. if you don't have control over your emotions, you're out of there. I can give you about three or four weeks to live before you're gonna be rebooting again because it's like sending energy into somebody and they're not capable of holding that energy. So really what the ancestors will mm -hmm. do then watching this from the future would be like, don't give them no more money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we keep filling them up with more stuff and they got leaks. These things mm. are sucking on them. That's what happens when you leak. You can get in front of that TV and be leaking like you'd be looking at this stuff. And, <laughs> oh, man, it's and all that energy is coming off of your body. And there are things that are just like, man, it's lollipop. And I don't want to mm. go completely into the spiritual realm on you. But just realizing that go there on. is go on. This is <laughs> come on. Let us hear it. <laughs> There's a communion happening. The, 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 the great agreement here is eating, eating. Mm. It's okay. everything's consumed the other thing. And then it keeps regenerating and infinitum. That's the universe. It's got uranium mm. and it's got koala bears. So mm. I know some of these folks, they like namaste. Mm. <laughs> Nature is I live in nature. There's a jungle out here. You're out there, mm. right? Mm -hmm. If you think nature is all cute and you think all nature is is just the sun, great sunset you're seeing, go sleep out there for one night mm. for a few days while some larger predator is like, people are like, he's really going to stay out here. All that soft meat. Right. So <laughs> right. just being full spectrum so that way you don't get, because that's what a lot of these projects are. They, man, they got the conscious community, quote, quote unquote, conscious community. Man, by the by the strings, because the people mm. who generally control it, the Gaia TVs, et cetera, all of them uh -huh. are sitting there with 
really no knowledge about what the constellations mean. What does our language mean? The programs mm-hmm. and the codes, where did they come from? They came from the stars. Our mm-hmm. stories have already been written because the manifestations of who we are through the spells and the encoding actually are the words that we evoke every single day. And that this, these words that we're using, even though it's in English, which is angelic language, still mm-hmm. has half power. We're sitting on a half powered language where you can mm-hmm. still manifest and evoke and explain and, and even circumference certain levels of, of knowledge and awareness and all of this power. And that's what I was saying. This is what the danger was. This is why the ancestors warned about having too many kids. Mm-hmm. If you look at what was in the Garden of Eden and all that, it wasn't about six or sex. It was all about the, the first kid, Cain, mm-hmm. the king. Mm-hmm. And, and, and just when parents bring children into the world and don't know what they're doing, that's really the context of the story, really, because, you know, God come in, yeah. like, yo, what was y'all doing? <laughs> Shorty, yeah. she's covering up herself. What, are y- <laughs> what have y'all been doing? It's really about, okay, look, if you're going to use the all power, what makes you know good and evil, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you got to know how to manage that because once Prometheus gives you this fire, <laughs> You're going to start creating and then you're going to forget that you're even creating the reality around you. You're going to forget it's a game. Mm. And I've talked about this. You're going to start taking it too serious like a cat you gambling with. Mm -hmm. It's a game, right? Mm. And he pulls the pistol out because he didn't lost too much money or even Mm. Monopoly. I don't have to take the streets with you. Monopoly. Mm. There are folks once you start. Monopoly is so simple. From the first time you cross go, just buy everything you land on. Right. Don't be trying to match colors. Exactly. That's mm-hmm. how they work. They buy everything they land on. Mm-hmm. So I buy it. I'm buying everything I land on. I'm playing with this cat. Mm-hmm. Pretty mm-hmm. soon he's landing on my properties with hotels. Mm-hmm. But he's getting serious about this. This is fake money. Mm-hmm. He's pissed off. He mm-hmm. didn't flipped over the board. Now we yeah. tussling. How does that all happen? Because somebody in the game has gotten too rigid. Mm. They started grasping onto the identity, grasping on who they think that they are, which is dangerous because if you haven't figured out what you're really capable of Mm. and then you're accepting this being you're seeing through a piece of glass, don't be surprised if you're gonna be limited if you just, you know, put all your chips in on that. So it's about remaining superfluous. It's about remaining uh, like a vapor at times, moving through all this stuff. So that way, instead of finding the, the point where you're in conflict, you actually are able to see how this is actually benefiting you. Mm. Because here's the reality of this entire thing now. Okay, so we gonna work from home now. Yeah. Right. Great, so I'm at the house mm-hmm. and I'm about to stop working. What's good? Mm-hmm. Where's the money gonna be at? Mm-hmm. It's in cryptocurrency, the charts is all the way up. Once again, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. how can I get into this field? And this is what I was saying where what we, what we do then because we really wanna assist people, we don't just wanna talk about the situation. Mm-hmm. It's great to bring a certain level of awareness, but we would get depressed if there was no solution. Right. So we built the system, WealthyBot.io. Okay. You go in here, you go run the simulator. Don't put any money in. Just run the simulator and it's going to play like it's real money and it's going to send you emails and let you know how much money you would be making if you had real money in there. Mm-hmm. Because there's a fact that you're sitting on a $300 billion industry that's worth $10 trillion. Mm-hmm. Financial technology is worth $10 trillion and it's at $300 billion right now. Mm-hmm. How much mm-hmm. room of growth is still there? You got one Bitcoin that sells for $11,900 right now. You got one dollar that's worth only one dollar. Right. Mm-hmm. If you can be on the planet where one of something that's not a piece of art or not something that is a relic or something like that that's worth that much money over the, the actual denominator mm. that we're using as a far wow. as far as our current man, you better know what's coming next mm-hmm. and so how are you going to fund your future okay. how are you going to fund your next stage mm-hmm. off of them mm. yep. so if we're not so busy again watching donald trump come off the top All ropes right. on his final trump <laughs> then we will be able to realize that it's not going up into the double dim Biden's world either. Mm-hmm. Right. It's about Let actually getting ourselves stabilized because you're realizing that no longer your surrogate father and mother wants to take care of okay. you because they off in Singapore. Okay. They over in, it- in, 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 in India mm-hmm. where those people have been so bombed out mm. and, and, and so uh, uh, brainwashed even on their level because right. they've been working with them in the cartoons since day mm-hmm. one that they're ready to accept another fake ass dream right. while everybody in the United, that's United Arab Emirates, okay. United Kingdom okay. and United States okay. are like, 
let's buck. But they don't know exactly what to do. So mm-hmm. it's a perfect it's a perfect storm to take all the kids out of school, mm-hmm. especially the college. You ever been on a college campus? That's where yeah. everybody at. So right. now if they can't be on the campus, where they at? Mm-hmm. They downtown. This is yeah. a perfect move. Oh, look at them. They're rowdy. Mm-hmm. What yeah. they just mm-hmm. are not in school. So yeah. where are we going with this, though? Right. Whose great work is right. this? And is it really great? So I study. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I tap in to self. Mm-hmm. And then I find the truth. Mm. I won't come out the house. If I need to know something, I'm like, I'm not coming. I'm not going anywhere until I know this. I know this information knowledge is there. Mm-hmm. So when I found out the truth, I realized, you know what? Ain't nothing changed. Right. This is not new. Mm. This is about that same thing that I was saying that there's r- real estate in your mind. Mm. Mm. There are gods, there are codes, there are creeds. Mm-hmm. There, all of that is functioning inside of your matrix and that's what's allowing that to exist so for the moment that you say okay you know what Mm -hmm. it was great while i was along for the ride (laughs) the game was fun guys listen Mm -hmm. i'm just going to take the things that i like out of the whole thing and i'm going to create my own this is the same thing that you do when you lucid dream Mm -hmm. when you know how to lucid dream it's like neo in the matrix scene where he start calling up wherever he wants whatever he wants i've been in dreams let's fly right Mm -hmm. right then you start flying off. Then I say, I don't want to see anything man-made. Mm-hmm. Then there's the mountains and serene and lakes and fish and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Then I say, all right, I'm ready to go into space. And now I'm in space. Now, here's the thing. That's a part, that's about being able mm-hmm. to do that is about vibratory frequency. If you're too stuck into any of this, then it's hard to actually lose a dream. But notice the deep metaphor here. This means that really, tell me this then, since you spend about seven hours, also eight hours sleep, if every time you jumped into the dream, you could just have whatever you want, would you even come back to the right. world? <laughs> and then mm. the deeper level is to realize that you're actually in a dream. Mm. Because the reality here is, is again, if you lose control of the dream, it's because you lost control of your ship. Mm. This is the ship right here. And if you lose control of it, now pirates are on board, oh, literally no. pirates. Mm-hmm. And then now you're listening to the damn pirates. This is how shit's mm-hmm. got crazy. But this is a psychological. This is not a spiritual. Mm-hmm. This is a psycho spiritual. If mm-hmm. at minimum, this is a psychological situation where the one abused by their pressure then looks for looks for approval from the presser. And it's not a color. It's an attitude. It's a vibration. It's a frequency. Mm-hmm. And it's something that needs to be what we call repaired. What is repair? Well, first of all, you're an androgynous. So this is saying that you really have something inside of you that's been neglected. This not knowing self Mm. thing is actually a broken relationship. (laughs) And when you get back inside of yourself and say, hey, man, how you doing? It's like, yo, you killed me with the sodas, yo, for the last three years. Uh (laughs) Uh Oh, man, I'm sorry. Let me pour some hydrogen on you. (laughs) Ah, thank you so much. You know, can I come out of the Cossacks and maybe head a little bit up the spine a little bit more? Well, you know, I don't know. You know, let's see what let's see what we got. It's a real conversation right. because this is the, this is your kingdom. Right. So when you look in your kingdom, what's the condition? They haven't seen their Lord. <laughs> you know, like the real world, you know how they don't know where God mm-hmm. is. That's the, the God. He's a oh, God. This is the same thing at times happening in people's body. Like, yo, what happened to God? Like, he's killing us down here. There are millions of organisms oh. living inside of the body. Real things. I'm talking about stuff I okay. can I can pull up out you and throw right on a microscope. Oh. And you'd be like, damn. I'd be like, yeah, he's a resident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just being able to accept, yeah, that that's... That's the hood. Mm-hmm. That's the east side of your colon right oh there. Gosh. So the reality is, is that if we can't have fun with right. it, it's not a game anymore. Exactly. Now it's too serious. And if in your game, the only thing that I can do is mm-hmm. die. And my mother already gave me a immortal scorpion sting to be able to live right. again. Mm-hmm. What am I really too concerned about except for whatever you can fabricate for me today? Mm-hmm. But like I said, mistake. Certification of vaccination ID Mm. is going to be like coming off the top ropes for those who are watching that scene and saying, oh, my goodness. And still, see, they didn't have no money to spend no way. (laughs) Most of the people perpetuating this, they didn't have no plans any damn way. There wasn't something that they really wanted to do. So it's not like their Christmas is being canceled. (laughs) Well, actually, that's what it is. That's what they're mad about. (laughs) 
but it's not like they had some big plan about taking everybody to a whole nother level and exploring the great reaches of consciousness right. and collapsing all the fields that were separating us. They didn't have plans mm. like that. When's the last time we seen somebody mm, like never. that shit? I don't even think that I'm still living in the same world right. that I grew up in because I was already young looking at cats that all had knowledge and wow. game and going through the movement right. and like, this is where we gonna go with this. And it seems like now it's just like the torch has been passed to me and a few of us to light up everybody right. else because everybody's got mm. this. I'm doing this for 10 years, talking like this with this much energy because I'm not only the client, I'm the president. Uh, okay. I will go okay. in and take this thing down mm -hmm. all the all way right. and, mm, and build it mm -hmm. back up. Mm -hmm. It's a literal like, OK, I don't mind going on the low vibratory frequency range mm -hmm. and realms. That's where my brothers and my sisters are. I got family there. I got right. family through the whole cosmos. Right. And I'll go down there and see exactly how much work I can do. And that's symbolically. Mm -hmm. I'll go into my body and go into the parts that, uh, you know, you know, may not want to deal right. with. And this is where I started realizing what was happening in, in the consciousness and understanding it from also numbers. If it just this is the last thing. Yeah. Notice how there are things that we don't like about the reality, the nasty underbelly, mm -hmm. I call mm -hmm. it. However, when we look at ourselves and we see sometimes our temperaments, our attitudes, our flaws, and we can still say, well, you know, I only got my two percent, three percent. But when you times that by eight billion, now you will get an idea of what would some what would that all your flaws or at least a part of them look like if it was all congealed into one massive mm -hmm. form? That probably would be your government. Right. And so when we start cleaning out what's actually happening here and really vibrating on the higher levels, then this is what actually morphs the entire reality around you. Because I'm here to tell you, it's never been. It's never been that all of Earth is ever going to be on the same frequency. It's never going to be all Earth is going to be desolate in every single area. Mm -hmm. You're going to have areas that are abundant, watery, green, and you're going to have areas that are like deserts, bombed out, and mm -hmm. red. And that's how the whole spectrum works. So it's just all about where, where are you mm -hmm. at? What do you resonate with? Because I'd never seen anybody in my last 10 years in bringing this message and actually working with this level of power and connection with this tribe. I never saw anybody that really wanted to do it. Mm. They weren't lying mm. to themselves and telling you in your face that they were about it. Uh, we're about love. Mm -hmm. And then they, that's really not what's right. going on. I never saw anybody who was about this not receive the greatest level of connection and guidance. Mm -hmm. Guidance like, I don't care if the whole damn thing is storming. Mm -hmm. I don't care you wipe out nine billion mm -hmm. people. If it ain't time for me to go, I'm gonna be standing right. there like, damn, who's right. uh, this dream is getting pretty mm -hmm. crazy. <laughs> and but still, fortifying yourself inside of your own being, it's like a football, a field that moves around you that d you decide still, you know, how much of this, cause I watch it, I watch World Star, I watch mm -hmm. all this stuff, and I'll be sitting back popcorn like yo they going <laughs> yeah. right on are y'all doing it like that but i'm going to meet you off at the right, pass right. because see our ship is our ship is nimble our ship can move through these waters see when you're when you're dealing with these huge corporations and juggernauts they move slow and lethargic like titans right. so you yourself in the slick tesla <laughs> you can come right through and just be like boom 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 let me make right. my move let me just spell a final thing for hmm. you the people you're seeing with the big money blocks on the side of their head and all mm -hmm. that stuff looking like they definitely have dipped themselves in demon mm -hmm. juice. They don't really have any money. Uh -huh. I know you're thinking that mm -hmm. money is mm -hmm. symbolic at times to that people who have it seem to be connected to the darkness. Right. OK, they don't have right. any money. They're in debt. This how it happens with them is, first of all, from multiple levels, but just on the most basic yes, level. Thank you. When you take out a lease or a loan on a 200 million loan on a 200 million dollar house, and you put 20% of that down, mm -hmm. okay, that other 18 million is still in the future. Mm -hmm. That's still mm -hmm. debt. Mm -hmm. And so if you haven't made with your career even $2 million, $3 million liquid, mm -hmm. this means that you're technically on paper in mm -hmm. debt. And the reason why I got to bring this up is that there's a huge deception that money, the actual money has nothing to do with your energetic current internally. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that once you clean this up, <laughs> The money and the rest of the abundance that you've been overlooking starts flowing through. Right. It's all about being the proper conduit. This is as simple as this. Just yeah, dedicate yeah. yourself. Take the next three to six months and say, you know what? This dude's whack and crazy, <laughs> but I'm, it's good science fiction. <laughs> I'm going to do what he's saying. Mm -hmm. 
just to prove him right. wrong, just to show him that this is really about Bernie right. Sanders. So <laughs> okay. let me take this course and see what it can do for me. And I'm telling you the truth. You may not come back and tell me because some folks, you know, they're a little haughty, mm -hmm. but it will change everything and put you to a point where when you start thinking about the right thing, then the right thing is it, the balanced thing, as we call it, is manifesting. Right. And it, it, it'll scare you for a moment because you'll be like, Shit, it works. Right. Right. Just to show you how foreign you are to your own system and how it works. You are think and it is beings. Okay. And so pushing ourselves back into that awareness of who we truly are is, you know, that's that's what we got with this. And you would need a challenge like this. The reason why all this is happening is because there's no way. If you have all these powers, you're going to even know what these powers are used for and what they can do unless you're put into a situation where you would have right. to. People who are born with wealth, they don't know they're rich. Right. Mm -hmm. You need to experience poverty first. Everything here is a contrast. So you have these powers and abilities, but it's like you've always had powers and abilities so much that you don't even know you have powers and abilities mm -hmm. at all because you don't have a contrast. Mm -hmm. This reality is the contrast. It said, well, shoot, mm -hmm. you better use that power. to Kundalini and starts controlling his dream and, you know, whatever he's talking about. Because other than that, if you're depending on Jay Paul Getty mm -hmm. and, and, and Mark, Mark Bloomberg and, and whoever <laughs> and, and Elon okay. Musk, that's, that's not where you want to be at. And lastly, yeah. be intelligent. Mm -hmm. Be intelligent. Follow, if you're looking for certain things, go right to the source. When I'm looking for the spiritual knowledge, I go right mm -hmm. to the source. I find a path and the keyword. Mm -hmm. When I'm looking for uh, uh, something to do with my body or a problem, I go right to the source. You have to get used to the self-educated aspect of basically deprogramming yourself, telling yourself the truth about the matter. Mm -hmm. Because there were so many things that people were like, like, I, I, I sat there and pioneered the invention of a device that can program water. From the gate, people were like, you can't program water. I had engineers telling me, even though there was real documentation about this, engineers telling me that, why do you want to do this? <laughs> just to tell me, like, I'm paying you. Why are you asking me why do I want to do this? There's so much re resistance yeah. here. But just that everyone was basically in this weird mm -hmm. doubt. So they'd rather get a billion people together and build an okay. iPhone and not get through three, four hundred people together to actually find out how you're really going to solve your health problem if you do happen to contract anything. Mm. This is not the beginning of mental. This is a mental okay. virus. People need okay. to understand, like, they already flipped this to the next level where it was going to eradicate your brain. It was going to overflow what they call the jobbers. It was going to put so many dark holes inside of your mm. consciousness that they were going to spill over into where mm. your neat, perfected, balanced thoughts mm. were. And, th and this is why there's a consistent, it's a tirade. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying, oh, well, send in the murder hornets. It's a shocking on. Mm -hmm. We're going to be shocking and, and, and shocking them mm -hmm. to death. Let's now bring in what's mm -hmm. next. Oh, shoot, look, the money's right. running out. The banks ran out of change right. because they need more copper and more of these metals. And then that comes across as the banks don't, they ain't even letting us right. in. We don't have any money. Mm -hmm. Look, Pizza Hut said they only mm -hmm. taking the so that kind of frenzy, I can't focus like that. An NFL player, an NBA player, a, a, high key, a hockey <laughs> player, anybody on pro level, they can, you cannot shoot that basket. Right. You cannot catch that end zone with that kind of state of consciousness. Right. So just remember, that's what they want to do is keep you hooked up to this shocked up, stimulated system when you really need to be relaxed and be cool, mm -hmm. baby, and realize who you mm -hmm. are and that you're immortal mm -hmm. And you need to get on your EverQuest in your process of actually realizing how to guide okay. your ship. Because balance is something that you can't just say, I'm balanced right. and I'm done. Mm -hmm. It's something <laughs> that you have to achieve every okay. day. Man. So that's what, I, that's what I got just in relation to that. Like a, it was an hour. <laughs> yeah. We're about five. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe there's some fun thoughts. Y'all said y'all wanted to get a little question in or whatever. But, you know, just in respect oh, of time. Yeah. I don't even know if we got time for the questions. But there, you it, just there, hit was there the, any questions? I figured that maybe the hour, the hour can be mean sometimes. Yeah. So I was like, you know, let's just see what we can do. You know, I'm not your pastor no. or your preacher, you know, yeah. Adi. So, you know, I'm not just here to rev you up and then like let you down or ask for 10%. Right. Right. I'm that we figured out money. We cracked right. the code to refreshment. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I don't see how people could have ever thought they were going to figure out really deep levels of consciousness and didn't have money figured out because money is not more complicated than deep levels of consciousness. Okay. 
-hmm. It is an energetic thing. So it's your current or currency. The money is tied directly into your abundance is tied directly into your mm -hmm. body. Money is a bit more dangerous. That's why you have to be spiritually strong enough and fortified because that that dollar is a talisman and it is necromancy, mm. which is the more forward form of magic. Mm. These are dead people. Mm. That's true. Okay. Those are two dimensional signatures on parchment, mm. which is a special kind of paper weaved with a certain kind mm. of tree. Those are goloidals. Though that's the geometry that's being used, and that vibrates. There's a magnetic strip there giving it a little bit more power. And then once you put your finger on it, even those of us that have certain faculties turned on, we feel a little zap mm -hmm. when we touch money. I don't even touch money. <laughs> I let wifey touch me. I don't because it, it's a little zap mm -hmm. there. And that zap is all of the conduit that everything that's happened with this money until it's got into your hands. Mm -hmm. That's why we have a process. We call it karma-free wealth. It's that when you invest in certain things like yourself and you cleanse yourself, you took that that con that money, if you may, that had all that energy on it, and you cleaned that, and you made it serve a purpose that actually is vibratorily. You got to realize every single thing, that's what it is about the game. You got to know all the rules. And because right. they know the rules, they even wear they wear white gloves not to touch money. Mm. There's there's tricks to the trade. You can bend the arc of a roof 33 degrees and speak in the corner of it and somebody else on the other corner will hear it in their mind. Mm. There's power gloves to the reality. You can build to scale a pyramid 51 by 51 degrees on the slat out of a certain material and it'll resonate all the way to the one over in Kemet just like if the one over there is over here because it's a magnetic thing mm. when you make an image of something that is powerful uh, that is identical that image also has a little of its power mm. and you know if you don't believe that then take a picture next to tom cruise and show that to your friends and they'd be like yeah right. you was with tom dude he got bread but that's the most rudimentary aspect of it it's just yeah. realizing that there's power all over the place right. and if we're not so busy pushing that into somebody else's vision powering up their projector which doesn't have us written in we're minorities it's not even a term that is a minority by a number it is a by is a we, we're outnumbering on a number level they call in chinese minority and they outnumber everybody in the wow. world this <laughs> word minority is a reference to that supposedly you're not a highborn you're not an angel mm -hmm. you, you're not mm -hmm. in this high state of uh, 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 in the court and accepted that's what their terms mean so if you want to accept any of the things i don't vote do not I mean, touch either. their <laughs> stuff they're working magic this is mm -hmm. polls casting, spells, all that stuff going to don't touch any don't waste your time right. if they can get if you they can get one minute from you they'll get it and be happy mm -hmm. if they can get two hours they're more happy if you're going to do anything with them, meaning learning or watching anything they're doing, let it be so that you're actually forming your strategy of mm. how exactly you're keeping your ear to the ground of what's going on so you can know how your assets are moving through the space. Mm. Okay. That's their only use. And to show us exactly how not to do this thing. Mm. We got to have one more final thought. Okay. <laughs> There's an issue here with this continuous aspect of who came first, the chicken or the egg, meaning that, you know, who's really human and who's got a soul and is it I the black that. one? Yeah. The white mm -hmm. one. And this is very important from a spiritual level to realize that even if you say that you're originator, that means everything that came after you is your child. Mm -hmm. So if you start rejecting your children, no matter what state that they're in, this means that you're definitely not reflecting Ma'at, mm -hmm. which is the divine feminine. Okay. Because she's going to take all her children, no matter what condition that they're actually in from being on the wheel of life. And she's going to still embrace them and give them their war. Okay. She's not going to reject them because she knows exactly where to put mm. them. This is the reality. You got to know how to put these elements in the world in their place. Okay. I let, when I see any of this stuff on TV, it fuels me. They're like, okay, this one's dangerous. <laughs> He's fueling himself on negativity. Mm -hmm. I said, well, shoot, nature. Mm -hmm. I figured out that, shoot, if there was a lot of negativity around, if we could use this as a fuel, this is what you got to think yeah. about. Like sometimes it's like, man, there's a lot of negativity going on around mm -hmm. here. Y'all got an excess of negativity. Mm -hmm. Can negativity be used as a fuel? So every time, because I used to let it scare the crap out of me, like what are they going to do next? Man. <laughs> now when I turn the energy, invert the energy into where it's supposed to be at, now I'm like, okay, yeah, this is exactly why I'm getting myself together. Right. It's like having a bad relationship, and then now you're out of the relationship, you moved on, things are better for you, and you still see this person, and they still going in that crazy direction. You're like, that's exactly why I got in right. that relationship. 
this is what it's got to be like for you in the world right now. You got to be looking at, you know what? This is exactly why I'm becoming mm-hmm. sovereign. <laughs> right. Y'all, get yourself together. You're going to stop depending on mm-hmm. them. And then you're going to be so far ahead in a short period of time. Right. Because this is a That's quantifier. True. Nature, earth, your body is a quantifier. You can plant one seed and get a ton right. of fruit. So that's that's what quantum actually is. So as long as you are planting these seeds and you're planting them with the intentions to get you into another stage and they really bear witness to that because, you know, the alchemical principles to these matters, you know, all the laws, the codes and the resonance of the days which we give you. Mm. Now you ride with the winners. Mm -hmm. And that's that's just that's it has to be some time to do that. And as our 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 past father guru used to say, Mm Devil Blair. You only got to do this one time. Okay. <laughs> Meaning that all you got to do is come online really one time and get yourself activated. And then you will have a succession of experiences, but you will not forget. Right. Okay. You, will, you will be conscious through all of your experiences. And when you load up another one again, it won't start from what we would call the beginning. Like you never see a dream start from the beginning because right. there's no beginning. Right. It's the invitation of all of our <laughs> There's no beginning. So you see it start up and it's already going. That's how you'll move. Mm -hmm. So when you die, which is an interesting word, but when you die, you will literally move into the consciousness or the dream or the world that you choose to project if you have control over the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So that's your incentive here is if you don't, I don't want to go into the sad stories about what would happen to you. (laughs) There's a lot of dogmatic traditions written about Mm -hmm. that. It's just about because you can do this now in your life, just taking that opportunity for yourself to invest in self. Oh, there it wow, is. So powerful. So wow. we just wanted to say thank you so much. And also, how do we, um, if um, some of our listeners may not know how to reach you and hear more of this powerful message that you're giving us tonight, um, how, like, where, where can they find you? You can definitely check me out at secretenergy.com. That is the conscious social network that was created. It's horizontal, meaning that I'm not sitting here on top in the leader and the ruler. It's a tribe. Mm. We're all together and we're empowering each other in different ways. And there's many of us and we're intelligent. We're all over the place. Mm. Also, there's geolocation there. So you can actually find people in your area and link with them mm-hmm. and, and stay on point. You can also check me out on uh, YouTube at Interstanding. This channel has been up for a decade. Mm-hmm. If you want to just know what I know and just function like I function and beyond, like there's some coming that are even greater than what I've been able to accomplish. You can drink over there. You know, it's been 10 years, so it may take a minute to get through all of that. But you will rise forth from that extremely fortified and knowing what to do. If you want a more linear approach, like, okay, just move all this stuff out of the way that I can learn later and just give it to me what I need to know now. You can join specialist training. Again, it's free. You can also join Ambassador Train. There are people there for you that will assist you. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I'm on the gram at AstroQuest. And, uh, and that's how we're handling things right now. So I welcome everyone to, you know, come and get involved and, uh, and empower yourself. Like, again, if you have a financial situation, we got you on that. Okay. If you've got a spiritual situation, we got you. Okay. If you need love and you need connection, like, that's something that we do. We have that in abundance. That. It's like mm-hmm. one of the only places that I know still have that. You know, the motives and the objectives, like, everybody here is abundant. And we, we have something and probably it's a lot of our folks in the chat now, you know, sending lots of oh, wholeness yes, to everyone are. there. Wholeness. This thing I decided in the end of this, if I couldn't find anybody that I felt like was really bringing this to a, a truthful level, then that meant that I had to step up into my place mm-hmm. then and maybe let go of my own endeavors for this life to make sure that our children at least had some kind of mentors and someone to look up right. to. And I also wanted to give thanks to you sisters also mm-hmm. because you're extreme role models right mm-hmm. now for where we're at in society with our sisters all over the world and, and what they look to and aspire to be and how to do that perfectly. Mm. So I trust that this will go out to the world and that it will do great things for them and at least give them enough of the real juice. Like Dynamo Jack said, it's not electricity, it's cheap. Right. Give them, it's not that stimulus check. Mm-hmm. This is the real thing for perpetual stimulus to be able to get you in a point where you can generate energy yourself. Mm-hmm. And always remember, guys, nothing's nothing's wrong. wrong. Thank you, Seven. Thank you, Seven, so much. (laughs) Oh, that's hot.